Hello everyone, welcome to Evening Prayer on this Wednesday, the 14th of July, uh, the uh, 15th uh, week of ordinary time, and uh, also a feast day today, a uh, feast day of St. Kateri Tekawitha, uh, the very first uh, North American native to be uh, beatified, and then was canonized in 2012, so not that very long ago, a relatively new saint uh, for us. And uh, she uh, led a very pure and simple life, austere life, tending to the needs of others, and uh, was ridiculed for, I guess now, the expression used in, in my growing up, uh, a goody two-shoes, uh, somebody who uh, extols uh, purity and uh, goodness in their hearts and in their lives, uh, tend to get ridiculed, and she did. Uh, she faced much ridicule from her people, from uh, the uh, Mohawk Nation, uh, as well as the settlers, for being such that goody two-shoes. Um, but, you know, I think we really need to start maybe turning around our world a little bit, one person at a time, and embrace and lift up the holy virtues that God wants us to live and not ridicule or tease or uh, badmouth uh, people who do good things and live good lives so often uh, because it's not the worldly thing to do. They are uh, cast aside and ridiculed and um, we really need to stop doing that we, we need to start embracing and encouraging that sort of a lifestyle I think the world uh, would start to turn around and be a much saner, happier peace filled and holy place as God intended it to be our first reading today, we hear the encounter that Moses had with God in the burning bush and God sending him on mission, go tell Pharaoh to let my people go. And Moses, in all humility, said, who am I? Me? I, and then God tells him, I'll be with you. So be not afraid, I'll be with you. And we hear Jesus echo those words, sending sending out his disciples into the world. The Holy Spirit will put words on your tongue and you'll have everything you need. You don't have to take anything else with you. Just go and, and trust. And our gospel today talks about trust because Jesus, in praying to his Father, says that to the childlike you have revealed these things. To be childlike is to have that dependency, that humility, and that trust in our Heavenly Father so that when life gets hard, we know we can climb up on His lap and He'll wrap us in His loving arms and protect us and guide us and give us everything we need to get through life's storms. So we, we have this beautiful uh, gospel today where we are encouraged to have that childlike trust in God. So let us pray to God our Father in heaven that when we call out to him and cry out to him in our needs, he'll pick us up and wrap us in his secure and loving arms. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God. Come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Those who sow in tears will reap in joy. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, on our lips there were songs. The heathens themselves said, What marvels the Lord worked for them, what marvels the Lord worked for us, indeed we were glad. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage as streams in dry land. 
those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. They go out, they go out full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back full of song, carrying their sheaves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you have raised us from the earth. May you let the seeds of justice which we have sown in tears grow and increase in your sight. May we reap in joy the harvest we hope for patiently. Those who sow in tears will reap in joy. May the Lord build our house and guard our city. If the Lord does not build the house, in vain do its builders labor. If the Lord does not watch over the city, in vain does the watchman keep vigil. In vain is your earlier rising, your going later to rest. You who toil for the bread you eat, when he pours gifts on his beloved while they slumber. Truly sons are a gift from the Lord, a blessing, the fruit of the womb. Indeed, the sons of youth are like arrows in the hand of a warrior. Oh, the happiness of the man who has filled his quiver with these arrows. He will have no cause for shame when he disputes with his foes in the gateways. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You command the seed to rise, Lord God, though the farmer is unaware. Grant that those who labor for you may trust not in their own work, but in your help. Remembering that the land is brought to flower, not with human tears, but with those of your Son. May the church rely only upon your gifts. May the Lord build our house and guard our city. He is the firstborn of all creation. In every way, the primacy is his. Let us give thanks to the Father for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in light. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In him everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. All were created through him, all were created for him. He is before all else that is. In him everything continues in being. It is he who is head of the body, the church, he who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, so that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him, and by means of him, to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. He is the firstborn of all creation. In every way the primacy is his. A reading from the first letter to the Ephesians, the only letter to the Ephesians. To God whose power now at work in us can do immeasurably more than we ask or imagine. To him be glory in the church and in Christ, Christ Jesus, through all generations, world without end. Amen. Claim me once more as your own, Lord, and have mercy on me. Claim me once more as your own, Lord, and have mercy on me. Do not abandon me with the wicked. Have mercy on me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Claim me once more as your own, Lord, and have mercy on me. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, 
All generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. Let us humbly pray to God, who sent his Son as the Savior and exemplar of his people. May your people praise you, Lord. Let us give thanks to God, who chose us as the first fruits of salvation, and who called us to share in the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. May your people praise you, Lord. May those who confess your holy name be united in your truth and fervent in your love. May your people praise you, Lord. Creator of all things, your Son desired to work among us with his own hands. Be mindful of all who earn their living by the sweat of their brow. May your people praise you, Lord. Be mindful of those who devote themselves to the service of their brothers. Do not let them be deterred from their goals by discouraging results or lack of support. May your people praise you, Lord. Be merciful to the faithful departed. Keep them from the power of the evil one. May your people praise you, Lord. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us offer our prayer to the Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen Merciful Lord, let the evening prayer of your church come before you. May we do your work faithfully, free us from sin, and make us secure in your love. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may God bless you all, God who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great night. Rest well. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>